Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to do prediction for new data set in random forest in Nine. Random forest is a machine learning algorithm that is used for classification and regression task. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and robust prediction. In a random forest, a large number of decision trees are constructed on different subsets of the data set. Each decision tree is constructed by randomly selecting a subset of features and a subset of data points from the original data set. During the training process, each decision tree is trained independently on its own subset of the data. Once all the trees are trained, they are combined to make a final prediction. The final prediction is made by taking the majority weight of all the individual tree predictions. Now let's see how we can do the prediction for the new data set in nine. For this, we will go in NIME Analytics platform. First of all, I'll activate input output read CSV reader node. I have activated CSV reader node as my file is in CSV format. Double click on it. You will be able to browse the data set. Now we are having two data, one heart one and heart one test. So first we will use heart one, press open, click OK. Right click on it and execute. When you'll right click on it, you will be able to see the entire data set. We only want to work on the, on the target variable heart disease and the independent variables are age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. We want to filter this data and therefore I will activate the column filter from here. Now right click on it, again configure. Take all these variables on left hand side, only include those variables from which the model is to be made. Age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise and hard digits. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now, when you'll run this node, you'll be able to get the filtered table. So you can see only those variables are there from which the model will be created. I'll be activating the partitioning from here. So we split the data into training and testing data set. Configure. So 80% we will keep for training and 20% for testing based on the certification done on hard disks. Execute. Now activate the random forest learner. Right click on it, configure. Make sure that the heart disease is a target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the different trees. In case of decision tree, there is a single tree. But in random forest, there may be hundreds or 500 trees which you can check one by one. I have explained this concept in my previous video. Kindly refer it. Then I will activate the random forest predictor. I'll disconnect this. So this random forest predictor will get its model from the learner and it will get the remaining 20% data set. 80% has gone for the learning purpose, 20% is for the testing purpose. Right click on it, configure, change production column name, prediction column name, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the prediction output. So you can see this is the prediction done by the algorithm. And this is the original data set. Now we want to check how well our model fits to the data set. And therefore, I will activate the scorer from here. Right click on it, configure. Activate the hard disks, prediction hard disks, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can activate the confusion matrix, which will give the classification accuracy. So you can see 52 are such cases in which the person is not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly that a person is not having a heart disease. 
84 are such cases in which the person is having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. 84 plus 52 are correctly classified cases, which is 136. On this basis, the classification accuracy which we got is 73 percentage. The misclassification has happened here, 18 plus 30, 48 cases. So the error is 26 percent. Now we want to predict for the new data set. So again, I will go here and activate input output node. Read CSV data. Double click on it. Browse. DDRA. And I will activate now. Data. Part 1 test open. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. So this uh, node contains only 10 observations. These are completely new observations which were not there in the previous data set. I, I will again copy this column filter so that the settings are retained. Right click on it and execute. Now I will again activate the random forest predictor configure. Right click on it and copy, control V. Now this random forest predictor will get its data, the new data from here. But from where it will get its learning? It will get its learning from here. Right click on it, configure, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and you can see the prediction output. So this is for the new data set, the prediction has been done. And this is the original data set. Now I want to compare or rather I want to see the classification accuracy. Again, copy this scorer and connect here. So right click, execute. Again, right click and view the confusion matrix. So it's quite good, 7 plus 3, 100% classification accuracy achieved. So this is the way you can do the prediction for a new data set in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.